Hi there, I'm Gary and I'm 77 year old. It's been on both ends of this, helping your parents retire. So make any comments or ask any questions you want and I'll try to respond. Before I go into the details, please do not hit the subscribe button yet until you have viewed the total video so that you'll know if you want more videos like this from me. If you like something you see, just touch the thumbs up like button and wait on the subscribe button until the end. I will remind you then. Remember back when you were a kid and your parents would help you through life by making some of your life decisions for you? Like what school to go to or when you should eat and when you should see the doctor or a dentist? Well, perhaps it's time to pay them back simply by making a few choices for them. Just guiding suggestions and warm loving help to keep them from getting bored with retirement and slowing down and fading away with no desire to grow and live life to the fullest. After just two years of retirement, it was not long before I started to feel dissatisfied with no routine. And what should have been a meaningful life became an anxious or uninspired one. The remaining years of my life seemed to be a highway of bored to death moments. It's right at that stage I started exploring ways to keep myself engaged in happy activities. From traveling the world to helping people in need, a variety of activities came to mind and that gave me meaning and joy in retirement later. Here are some ways I explored and found exciting. However, with today's pandemic worldwide, travel is yet to be a retirement direction. However, we will be in the future. First, to get a leg up on a happy retirement, start exploring the interests you want to pursue later in life. Share this with your parents. So if they plan to visit a foreign country or retire abroad, take time now to learn the lingo. Becoming fluent will help them get around and immerse them in different cultures, all the while boosting their brain power. Free online services can help them with that. Purchasing educational software can also help them learn the language in their own time. A simpler option though is to simply check it out from their local library or on Google. Perhaps they might be interested in their own business that can provide a sense of purpose, the thrill of a challenge, and perhaps some additional retirement income. If they always wanted to be their own boss, they can do much of the preliminary preparations, such as conducting market research, writing a business plan, and choosing a location before they jump into it because they are no longer maintaining a family and in a rush. Now, most of us have played a musical instrument of one sort or another in the past. If they are bored and looking for something to do, have them pick that instrument up again and start practicing. Or pick a new instrument and learn it. Take private lessons or join a group. Who cares if they aren't the next Eric Clapton? On the other hand, physical activity with other people is a way to kill two birds with one stone. It helps them stay healthy and socialize. One idea is to pick up pickleball 
which is one of the fastest growing sports for senior citizens in America. Or they can simply ask their friends to join a community center or gym together. They shouldn't be afraid to try new sports. Cycling is awesome at any age and easy to start and they don't need to practice like with other sports. Now, as they age, physical activities will change. So should their intensity. They don't have to train for the Ironman triathlon or the Tour de France. Likewise, pets are wonderful to have around, but if they like to travel or spend time away from home, having one can be a challenge. Did you know that there are organizations that need help temporarily looking after sheltered animals and getting them ready for adoption? I have done this myself and it's a wonderful way to do a lot of good and have some animal companionship at the same time. The hardest and yet most rewarding part is seeing them go after they are adopted to a favorite home. Another way is to dedicate their time to a hobby. Things like cooking, woodworking, reading, fixing up old cars, or whatever it may be. If they don't have a hobby yet, here are some questions to help them find one suited for them. What have you always wanted to try? What did you love to do in childhood? How do you like to spend your downtime? Once they have a hobby in mind, they may be able to find local classes and groups near them or online to help grow their interests. One way to make retirement more fulfilling is to make it less about themselves. Older adults have reported volunteer work as a source of happiness and meaning. According to a survey, out of 239 older adult volunteers, 79% said they feel better about themselves by volunteering, 95% said they have improved their lives, and 96% said they've been involved in a meaningful activity for the first time in their life. If they plan to make volunteering an important part of retirement, they can start now by determining where and how. After all, they've retired and they have had some exciting life experiences. Life has given them some fabulous stories. They have developed some expertise. Hopefully, they have some wild stories to tell. Write stuff down. Fiction or nonfiction, they have a book in them. Serving as a local official is another way to help your community. By helping to craft policy solutions, they can make a difference in health services, education, and criminal justice within their city or state. The first step is to think about the office they want to run for, such as city representative, treasurer, or school board member. Then, Check out your state election office or local election offices for campaigning rules and regulations. If they belong to a political party, consider contacting the state's office for campaign guidance and financial support. There are also political organizations that provide resources to women and men involved in the election process. Just growing a garden is great because after learning the skills necessary to tend a garden successfully, they potentially have some great meals they can be proud of when they harvest the rewards of their labor. They might not know it, but the Peace Corps does not have an age limit. And after you retire, they can help change the world and help make a difference by serving as a Peace Corps volunteer. And they can even serve with their spouse or partner or close friend. The important thing is their whole life has been them chasing a dream of some sort 
and they've learned a lot. Now is the time to put what they learned about preparation, dedication, and follow through can be put to use in retirement too. We need to continue to work our bodies before they get too weak. Explore our mind's challenges and continue to learn and most importantly, live your life. So kick them off the couch or easy chair and find them something to wake up for every day and help them make their retirement life the dream they had hoped for. I would appreciate any comments or suggestions you have about this uh, topic. Or if you don't mind, uh, hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell so that you'll be reminded the next time I put up a video.